okay? This is a little bit of a different video than what I normally do, um, but it's summertime, everybody's having some good cucumbers in their garden, and I wanna give you some ideas of what to do with cucumbers. Um, so I have two recipes I'm gonna share with you. Um, they're rough estimates, they're not exact amounts, and I hope you enjoy them. So the first one is a cucumber salad. And I have here, these are not for my garden um, because I didn't have enough to make this um, with garden cucumbers. But so these are five uh, cucumbers from the store. I'll wash them pretty good, get that wax uh, coating that's on the outside of them kind of off. Um, so I have five cucumbers here and I've used my mandolin uh, very carefully because they're super sharp. You can really hurt yourself um, and slice them super thin. All right, so I have super thin cucumbers, all sliced, they're in this bowl. Because I did so many, um, I did layers, and I did layers of cucumbers, and then layers of, here's some salt, some salt. And what the salt does, it helps pull water out of the cucumbers. Um, and I'm gonna let those sit for 30 to 45 minutes and then I'm gonna drain the excess water to continue on with the recipe. All right, so salted cucumbers, let it sit. Uh, it's gonna pull water out, you want that excess water out. Um, then in this bowl, I have a mix of mayo and some apple cider vinegar. Uh, one part mayo to two parts apple cider vinegar, depending on how much you're making. Hopefully this is enough. Um, I've whisked it together so it makes like a creamy sauce. And uh, if I need to make more, I can make more. It's pretty simple. Whisk together pretty easily. And then I've added some sugar and some garlic powder um, for flavor. And also the sugar is to help counteract some of the vinegar. All right, so I have that. And then I'm also, for that, I'm gonna add a good bit of salt and pepper to that mixture just for some good flavor um, then i've also used my mandolin to slice this is a half of an onion so white onion um, i'm not overly big on in onions especially raw so i tend to just pick around them so i try not to overdo the onion you can add as much or as, as little as you'd like so that's thinly sliced half of an onion. All right, so once I drain my cucumbers, I'm going to add them to the onion and I'm gonna add this mixture in and give it a really good toss. I'll, if I need to add more of the uh, mayo vinegar mixture, then I'll add it. And then I also have, if you have dill in your garden, I have some fresh dill. And this I'm gonna tear off, uh, you can chop it I'm just gonna do a rough tear and tear off some tiny sprigs to mix into it for just added flavor. And then if you, if you like cheese, you can always top it with feta when you serve it. It's best chilled in the refrigerator over, overnight once the mixture is made. All right, so that's recipe one, number one. This one I've already made, this is a batch of fresh pickles that I've made from my cucumber. Uh, it's from my Tokyo cucumber, my really big one. It filled this entire quart size jar. Um, it's a quarter of a pint. Eh, it might be a pint. So one cucumber filled this. And um, one important thing to note when you're working with cucumbers is that whatever the blossom end is, you don't want to add that to anything that you make with cucumbers because it can make whatever you're making really bitter. That includes canning um, and making pickles. So if you're not sure which end that is, uh, once you've picked it, just go look and find the area that has a stem and it's the opposite. So for my, my pickle mixture, what I do is I slice my pickle again with the mandolin, not as thin as what I used for the cucumber salad. I want them to have a little bit more of a thickness to them. Um, and you can do it per preference. Um, so I used the number one thinnest, which is as thin as possible for the cucumber salad. These, I believe I did number two. Um, so slice those up, put them in the jar. I warm up a mixture of white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and water on the stove just to heat it. Um, 
And then in the jar, I add, you can kind of see them at the bottom. So there's peppercorns, whole garlic cloves, um, and then I also add um, some coriander. I prefer the seeds, but I accidentally got the ground, so I'm just working with what I have and using it up. Like I said, the peppercorns, throw in a bay leaf, and this whole smashed um, garlic cloves. So I think I added like three garlic cloves for just the one batch. Um, once that's the vinegar is heated up on the stove, you add it to the filled jar with your spices and pickles, or cucumbers rather. Um, top it off with the mixture, put your lid on, and put it in the refrigerator. As it cools, it will allow some suction. I've already op opened this one to eat some. Um, but it will um, seal the jar closed as it cools. These are considered refrigerator pickles. They are not canned pickles. So I did not sterilize my jar and they're, they're not gonna be good for on the shelf. Um, and in the refrigerator, they'll, they'll last uh, a good few months. Um, over the course of time, um, the, the vinegar you know, stays good, but the pickles just get soft. Um, because they're not sealed. So those are a couple recipes that you can do with your cucumbers. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you make some yummy things and have a great day.